Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking Josh Primo on that Kawhi Leonard get right plan. You know, when I saw this headline, it actually got me excited, man. You know, as a YouTuber, as a Spurs fan, I need a little buzz in my life, you know, and this got me buzzing a little bit because despite how we feel about Kawhi as a fan base, he's a hell of a player and the Spurs developed him that way. So if they're doing the same type of things, the same type of drills, the same type of, you know, uh, assessment and they're going strategy on Josh Primo, you can't help but, you know, applaud them. And this isn't just coming from anyone. This is coming from a reliable source, you know, a Spurs insider really telling us what's going on with Josh Primo, how he's developing and whatnot. And Josh Primo did show flashes of greatness in that last preseason game. He did his thing, man. I mean, the whole thing I want from him is consistency, but the flashes and the greatness is there. Yo, I can feel the power level, young fella. You can feel it. next stage we need from him is him to have a stretch of those type of games tie together 10 11 12 15 games in the season where you just putting in work doing in work dropping 16 7 and 7 that's what i want to see from josh primo that's what spurs nation needs we need that excitement man we need that push and it looks like the spurs coaching staff needs that push as well because they are working with him individually after practice just like they did with Kawhi, just like they did with dj they're making sure that this guy is developed to the best of his ability they're giving him constructive criticism brett brown is working with him personally there's been rumors that brett brown may even be the future spurs head coach in a couple years anyway so this is good to see that he's building rapport with josh primo and one of the things i come to realize about josh primo is that his work ethic must be spectacular because every article i read about him every piece of news every tweet always go back to how hell of a good worker he is in practice and the spurs put a lot of time and energy into josh primo and when you look at his stats from last year they weren't that impressive him having his five points a game weren't all that uh, impressive obviously he had some games where he did expose a little bit show us the talent show us the future but it didn't quite match the excitement that the Spurs organization had for Josh Primo. So he must be doing wonders in practice, man. And that's the really the first step, having that work ethic, being um, coachable for you to take that next step, take that next level. But like I said earlier in the video, it's time to give Spurs Nation something to talk about consistently that's what i want from josh primo consistently because even with comparing him to Kawhi, Kawhi may not have always been um consistent on the offensive end but he sure as hell was always consistent on the defensive end giving us something to get excited about giving us something to look forward to so can josh primo come into this season and do the same thing and set spurs nation on fire in a good way at the end of the day, I'm happy to see that he has the potential. I'm happy to see that he has the work ethic. I'm happy to hear positive things coming out of Spurs camp. But I can't help but wonder, as of this video, where is Josh Primo going to land in the rotation? Will he be starting at the point guard, you know, um, first game? Probably not. Probably Trey Jones, if I know Pop. But, you know, is he going to be a point guard? Is he going to be a shooting guard? Are we going to run a positionless team? What are we going to do, man? Is he going to get the minutes that he deserved where he can have a breakout season? You know, are we going to hold him back because of the knee injury a couple weeks ago? So many questions, man. But at least, you know, we have a lot of positives to go on. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Check me out in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the Primo Kawhi comparison. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.